What is the effect of social media on the mental health of teenagers in America? Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Omar Awan. I'm a physician and public health contributor for Forbes.com. And I'm going to answer that question. This is such an important issue. And I really want to shed light on this because according to the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, 90% of teens aged 13 to 17 have used social media in some way, shape, or form. So that means Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, whatever it may be. And not only is that true that 90% of people have used social media or teens have used social media, the average time spent for teens on social media is nine hours a day. And that doesn't include homework. So they are spending a large amount of time on these devices. And according to CDC data, 57% of teen girls have experienced persistent feelings of sadness and hopelessness. That is an alarming number. For teen boys, that number is 29%, which is still alarming and should raise eyebrows. And what's even worse is, is that 30% of teen girls have seriously considered suicide. That's nearly one in three teen girls living in America. And this is up from 19% dating back about a decade ago in 2011. So what's causing this? And is social media really having an effect on this? Well, there was a study done in 2019 from the UK Millennium Cohort Study that showed that higher use of social media was associated with low self-esteem, poor sleep, increased depressive symptom scores on surveys, and more online harassment. So there's a study that shows a direct association between social media and mental health deterioration. But not everyone believes that social media is the result or the culprit for mental health deterioration in teens. But what is clear is that more and more teens are using social media in large amounts of time throughout the day. It should behoove us to ask us, well, is social media really benefiting them? And there's no doubt that social media allows us to stay connected with our friends across the globe. It allows us to use our voice in spite of others, but there can be harm as well, especially for teens, uh, boys and teen girls living in America. We should ask ourselves, well, do, does the harm outweigh the benefits for social media? That's a question that we should all, especially as parents with our children, ask ourselves. And it's very important in this day and age. Dr. Vivek Murthy, the Surgeon General, has said that the risk of premature death from social disconnection is similar or comparable to that of smoking daily. And I think that's just such a powerful state statement. We know that smoking can cause lung cancer and eventually death. And if social disconnection is being compared to that, I think that should open all of our eyes and you know, while we're on social media, we have the tendency to be glued to our phones. We're not making personal connections with other people. It's decreasing our time to interact with others. All this has a role and an effect. When teen girls are looking at amazing uh, images of maybe teen models, uh, you know, that are, you know, very hard to emulate, what effect is that having on their psyche? Is this contributing to, you know, depression? stress, anxiety. These are all questions that we should ask ourselves and weigh in as we consider how much time teens or our children should have on social media. Hope that was insightful. Thank you so much for your attention. As always, please be kind to yourself and to those around you.